peace. Stay fast. <laughs> Happy now. Now is the vibrate. Just a quick little thing fast of how high altitudes uh, resonate across the board, almost on the as above, so below aspect. When I thought about the reason why this, uh, I had this thought, I was uh, listening to the Brethren uh, Red Pill, uh, I think it was Red Pill, they was talking about a, a retreat they did in uh, Mount Shasta in California. And he was talking about, you know, how good the water is and, you know, and just how good it is to be in nature. But when he was telling him about, you know, talking about all the things that was good, talking about the organic fruits and, you know, and the water being so good. It made me think about how high altitude, you know, raise the vibration, you know, just in general, like say, for instance, in your body. You know what I'm saying? As you go up your chakras, you know, the highest vibrating chakra will be your, your crown chakra, well, you know, as far as what's close to you physically we know we got the you know the uh the interstellar gateway you know you got the high uh chakras or whatever but for the most part you know as you go up to about to the crown chakra you know the vibration is high compared to the root chakra which vibrates at a you know a, a lower vibration you know what i'm saying and not saying that it is a low vibration because if you're ultimately vibrate on a high level of course your root chakra is not you know low low but at the same time it is the lower the lower vibration of you know the ones in your body because the higher you go the higher you know the vibration and also like on earth because i thought about too like well your coffee beans you know what i'm saying some of your best coffee beans matter of fact and some of your best herb <laughs> come from places with high altitudes matter of fact ethiopia has some of the best coffee beans and herb Ethiopian Highland is one of the best land strands of herb that they actually have out, you know what I'm saying? And it's, you know, the higher altitudes, you know, is able to pull down, you know, certain certain nutrients and, you know, certain, how can I say, a different type of pranic energy in the air, the higher you go in altitude, you know what I'm saying? And as above, so below, so even in your body, the vibrations and, you know, things become, you know, higher, more beneficial, you know, Cause say for instance the root chakra not that it's not beneficial for you but it is say for instance it is your lower you know the lower nature you know what i'm saying there's not much to it compared to the crown chakra you know when you get up high you know what i'm saying and that's the thing like the as above so below aspect where even in nature where you know the higher the altitude the better you know what i'm saying so that's just something to think about you know from like i say from your coffee beans to your herb to your water you know what i'm saying you think about like himalayan rock salts and being in the himalayas because even even the pranic energy and the connection you get from breathing like i say you're breathing in that good pranic energy from a higher altitude so it kind of has like a higher vibration tied to it you know what i'm saying and like i say these pe these places that's higher in altitude seem to have higher vibrations on the as above so below aspect on the whole you know what i'm saying because say fences like Louisiana is below sea level. Does that mean that everybody and everything in Louisiana is on a lower vibration? No, because matter of fact, I'm I'm in the mountains somewhere, and that doesn't mean everybody's on a high vibrational level. You know what I'm saying? So it it varies, but it does have a resonance where you see that the higher you go in altitude, it's just a you know high vibration. You know, it's just a different aspect compared to being in the you know on a lower altitude. You know. And that's physically and spiritually, you know, on all levels. Matter of fact, and down to uh, like the lower vibrations too, like our lower notes, you know what I'm saying? So say for instance, the music notes that resonates with your chakras, you know, the ones that resonate with the lower chakras are, you know, lower vibrational music notes. The ones that resonate with the higher chakras are, you know, high vibrational music notes. You know, so just something to, you know, think about. And just, you know, something simple that you could just peep. I just thought about bringing up, but think fast. Ooh, four minutes. It's real think fast. <laughs> Peace. Happy now. Remember, now is the vibrate. And to anybody that's in school, I see the California State people taking uh, finals and stuff. Good luck with your finals and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Which, for one, you know, if you're in this system, you know, getting your little school or whatever, then, then do it to the max. I don't. I'm not one of the people that promote, you know, 
school I'll probably this I promote it if you're going to school and getting something that's really you know gonna that you could do something with and become your own boss or something with you know what I'm saying but for the most part you know personification of a school is that you know you just get one degree from a school you know what I'm saying while the masons and people with knowledge have the 33 degrees you know have more than one degree of knowledge you know what I'm saying because that's basically why they put you through the school and into you know where they give you one degree because they trying to personify like we only giving you little pieces it's not just more knowledge and there's more stuff out there but here you can take this one degree of knowledge you know what i'm saying so also you know my facts so even though it's just about out the two and the quick thing fast also talking to you know degrees remember that like the masonic you know the one percenters they they implemented these names and all this purposely ain't none of this is a mistake ain't none of this no coincidence there's no coincidences in this universe so why would this be a coincidence Coincidences don't exist. You know what I'm saying? It's called one degree or a degree for a reason. You know what I'm saying? It's one degree of knowledge. But peace. <laughs> Happy now. Now is the vibrate. Not too far in the future. Not too far in the past. Right.